So I just want you to close your eyes and I want you to listen to me. You're going to be totally relaxed, totally relaxed. Just sit and relax. Let yourself relax. You're going to totally relax, totally. Let your body relax. You're going to stay awake. You're not going to go to sleep. And you're going to be totally relaxed. You're going to listen to every word I say. You just listen to my voice. You listen to nothing but my voice. You only hear my voice. Your body is going to remain exactly as it is. You're not going to go to sleep. You're going to be consciously aware of everything I say. It's going to be very clear in your mind, just as the chair under you is clear in your mind. You hear my voice. You hear nothing but my voice. All right? Everything I say is energy that's flowing from me and it's flowing through you. We make a very strong connection. I want you to imagine your whole body moving into a very relaxed state. You're not going to go to sleep. You'll remain upright on your chair. But your body is becoming lighter and lighter. Your whole being is totally relaxed, totally relaxed. I just want you to hear my voice. You hear nothing but my voice. You're letting everything I'm saying flow right into your consciousness. It is the most magnificent feeling. You actually feel the energy flowing into your consciousness. You're so totally relaxed. It's flowing to and through you. I'm going to count from five down to one. Each time I count a number, you're going to let yourself sink deeper and deeper into a relaxed state. You hear every word I'm saying. You hear everything I'm saying. And you're totally relaxed. Totally relaxed. Each time I go down one number, you find your body becoming more and more relaxed. You're totally relaxed. We're going down now from five to four to three, and you're sinking deeper and deeper into a relaxed state. You feel so good. Now we're going down to three to two to one, and you're so relaxed. You're so totally relaxed. This is a wonderful feeling. I mean, you only hear my voice. You hear nothing but my voice. And you and I are going to step on an elevator. And this elevator is going to go down. It's going down. We're on the 10th floor. We're going down to the first floor. Each time we go down a floor, your body becomes more and more relaxed. We're going down from 10 to 9, 8, 7. You're becoming more and more relaxed. Your body is lighter, lighter, and lighter. You only hear my voice. You hear nothing but my voice. You're totally relaxed. We're going down now. Six, five, to four, to three. You are so relaxed. Two and one, and you're totally relaxed. As the elevator doors open, you're going to step into your room of images. This is like a celestial place. It is the most beautiful room you have ever been in. There's nothing like it. Absolutely nothing like it. Everything is just phenomenal. The doors open, and now you step into your room of images. This is where you go when you want to be good to you. Now you're finding yourself in a very relaxed place. You're laying down and you're totally relaxed, totally relaxed, totally relaxed. You just hear my voice. You hear nothing but my voice. You can actually feel the energy flowing into your being and your body's becoming more and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. Now as I put my hands on your shoulder, you're going to feel a charge of energy that is unreal. It's going to move into your body. Every molecule in your body is going to become strong and healthy and alert. The second I put my hands on you, you're going to feel the energy, just like a rush of energy. It's moving into every cell of your being. And your body is becoming stronger and healthier and more relaxed. There, just feel that. Feel that energy flowing into you. It's such a beautiful energy, and it's all of There's a dynamic that you're feeling that you have never experienced. You're seeing now that you're going to move into a place of prosperity where money will never be a problem. It's just going to keep fixing itself and going to keep getting better until you are in a marvelous 
financial situation. It's so good. And your body's becoming healthier and healthier, stronger and stronger. And you're totally relaxed, totally relaxed. You just hear my voice. This beautiful energy is flowing to and through you. And understand every word I'm saying is recorded in your brain. And in a millisecond, you can go back into this magnificent state that you experience right now. You can do it on a crowded subway. You're in charge of you. You are controlling the vibration of the body. Your body is moving into a healthier, more dynamic, more powerful vibration, and you're staying in it constantly. I'm going to put a coin in your hand and you're going to make certain that coin is with you wherever you go. One side is E. That's the environment. That's thinking the way all people think about almost all things. The other side is the G. And that's where you're working in harmony with God's laws. That's the power for everything there ever was or ever will be. It's flowing to and through you, and it'll give you everything you ask for. You're so totally relaxed, totally relaxed. It's a magnificent feeling you're experiencing. You're so totally relaxed, totally relaxed, totally relaxed. I'm gonna put this under your palm on your right hand, and you're gonna feel that and there's a feeling come with it. The G is pressing against your hand. Understand, that is a physical instrument that represents an infinite power. That's the Spirit of God flowing to and through you, and it will give you whatever you ask for. It will keep you in an absolutely magnificent, healthy vibration. It will keep you in such a prosperous vibration that your financial situation will continually improve day in, day out. It will keep you in such a wonderful vibration that you will find yourself surrounded by people who are good people, they care, and their friendships like you have never heard of. This is such a magnificent vibration. You attract all things to you that are good. You're in that vibration now. You have let yourself go there. Everything I'm saying is programmed deep into your marvelous mind. Let yourself experience this deep, meaningful feel of gratitude. You're totally relaxed. I'm gonna count from one to 10. Each time I count a number, you're going to move up. You're going to feel like there's phenomenal charges of energy flowing to and through you. They're just enormous charges of energy. On the count of 10, you're going to open your eyes. You're going to have a smile on your face. You're going to feel like you've had a wonderful rest. Each time I count a number from 1 to 10, new energy will flow into you. It's the most magnificent experience in everything I've said, everything that is programmed into your mind. It's in cells in your brain. It's there at will. Understand the body cannot be ill in a healthy vibration. Understand the person cannot be poor in a prosperous vibration. Understand the person cannot be alone and lonely when they're in a gregarious, loving relationships vibration. Everything in your life is going to get better for you. Every, every aspect of There's nothing that you could touch that isn't going to improve. Everything's going to improve because you've got that touch. You've got the magic. You're going to do things you never dreamt of. You're so relaxed. It's so powerful. So powerful. So powerful. Coming up from one, two, three, you're feeling new energy flowing into you. It's just coming in from every section of your being, every spot in your body. We're up to four and five. It's a phenomenal energy. You can feel it. It's just lifting you to a higher level. You're up to six, to seven, to eight. There's a phenomenal power moving into you. It's a feeling like you've never experienced. On the count of 10, you're going to open your eyes as if feel like you've had a wonderful rest. We're at seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, just relax. 
and let yourself be aware of what we've been doing. We're asking. Ask and you'll receive. What? Whatever you ask for. You ask in the form of thought. Don't ask, talk, or think about anything you don't want. Just ask, think, and receive, graciously receive, everything you want. The trick is, willingly give and graciously receive. Every aspect of your life. Now, I want you to listen to this often. I want you to listen to it often. I want you to listen to it and understand this is being directed with and through you. And it's going to keep getting stronger. And you're going to live healthier, happier, more fulfilled lives. You're totally relaxed. Totally relaxed. I'm going to suggest you listen to this every day. Totally relaxed. So now this is what I'm studying this week, uh, finishing off Lead the Field and we're starting it all over again in the new year, obviously. This lesson, uh, Leading in the New Economy, is phenomenal. Uh, I want you to listen to what Bob's going to say here. Well, hello there and welcome. We are at the last lesson on leadership. Do you know, this is a lesson that you can practice and study all of your life. It's so important. We point out in here, to be a good leader, you've got to be a good follower. And if you're not a good follower, you'll probably never be a good leader. The trick is to know when to be which, when to lead, when to follow. Because a strong leader will follow on many occasions. Do you know, Chris Haggerty, a management consultant, put it very, very well. He said the goal of most leaders is to get the people to think highly of them as a leader. But the goal of the exceptional leader is to get the person to think highly of themselves. I love that. Do you know, I heard Chris Haggerty say that many years ago. I've quoted him on thousands of occasions. But it's so perfect. The goal of the exceptional leader is to get the person to think highly of themselves. In this lesson, we covered some very, very important subjects. We get into inductive and deductive reasoning. What is the difference between the two? And we pointed out that the conscious mind is both inductive and deductive, but the subconscious mind is totally deductive. In other words, it's immoral. It doesn't have any ability to reject. Now, this is important that we understand that. When you find a person that's in a totally deductive state, you can put an idea in their mind like that. They act on that idea. And we get in there then talking about the composite personality, where the two of you are working as one. Of course, a real strong leader will do that with a group of people. They form a composite with the entire group. And they'll lead the whole group in the direction that the group decides they want to go. Do you know, you can look all over the world. There's very few really strong leaders. You practice this lesson. Study it often. Get in and read it. Listen to it. And then take just one aspect of it and say, I'm really going to practice this for a while. And you're going to find you're going to get very, very good at it. And the better you get at it, the greater the rewards that you'll receive. You know, we point out in many different lessons, there's two rewards in life. One's psychic and the other's material. The material, of course, is the money we earn. The psychic is the satisfaction we get from the good work we do. Well, do you know, when you're leading people, what you're actually doing is helping people grow, helping people develop as creative beings. And when you watch another person that you've been working with grow, the satisfaction is tremendous. You get something that money will never buy. It's so fulfilling when you see that happen. 
I've seen it happen a few times in my life. And I'm going to tell you, it's incredible. You can have that happening on a regular basis as you become a great leader. Now, this lesson is not one that you'll go through in 10 days. You may not go through it properly in 10 years. You'll understand the different parts of it. The trick is to employ them. Get them to be part of your paradigm, your new paradigm. And always work at improving your ability to execute all these ideas. Do you know, all the ideas in the entire program, well, let me put it this way. I started to study Earl's Lead the Field in 1961, and I'm still studying it. What you're getting here is a lifetime of research on why that program that he made, oh, so many years ago, did so much in improving the quality of people's lives all over the world and has for many, many years. I've taken all that research and I've built it all into this program and you're the beneficiary of all this information. Now in another five days, Sandy is going to close this whole program, but I guarantee you she's going to recommend that you go back and start it all over again. Because it's the kind of thing that you never really finish. Personal growth has no finish line. But I want to thank you for enrolling in the program. I want to thank you for studying with us and give Sandy and I the opportunity to work with you. And hopefully when you see us, you'll come and thank us for the lessons you got. We've both benefited from them tremendously. And I'm quite certain you will too. This is Bob Proctor. Thank you. Obviously, the message is very, very, very strong, and I want you uh, to to have it. So now I want to get into the uh, details of the lesson by uh, studying it deeply. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Okay, so we, we just finished the uh, lesson leading the new economy, and it was incredible, and I'd like you to um, come and study it with me. There's also a small section here on from Sandy as to how we do this and how powerful this information is. So I'm, uh, I'm going to give you more than what you bargained for because you're paying attention. So that's just me, all right? So take this as a gift and then uh, we'll finish it six minutes. Hello. Well, here we are in the last five days of lesson 12 of the new Lead the Field. And I hope you have just been really diving into each of these lessons um, because they are so powerful and you can just get such beautiful results in your life. I bet you've already got some great results. Now this lesson of course is called Leading in the New Economy and this is the new Lead the Field coaching program. So you want to become a leader in your field. You want to become a leader in your field. The, the world needs good leaders and I love the way that Bob and Earl talk about a leader in this lesson and they say ex an exceptional leader is someone who gets the person they're leading to think highly of themselves. I remember the first time I heard Bob say that. That was back in the seminar in 2006, and I thought, what a beautiful definition of a leader, and I'd never heard it before. Our whole objective is to get the people that we're leading to feel good about themselves, and you know what? When you do that, you're going to feel great about yourself. Now, let's just cover a few of the key points that are made here in this lesson. Um, what I really want you to focus on is the composite personality and how to influence someone to get them to fall in love with your idea. And there's a beautiful graphic illustration in the book on that. And so what you do, you create the composite personality between the leader and the follower. You're working together as one. All great leaders do this with their team. 
And before you create that composite, there are certain things that you need to do in order to get people to put their thinker away, put that thinker away that's, you know, questioning your idea, focused on their idea, and get them to focus on your idea. And so let's go to that in the workbook and, um, and let's see what it says here. To form a composite with another person, that person must have faith in you. You must be in harmonious vibration or in rapport. In order to influence another person, the person must be willing to listen to you and to believe in you. Also, when you give a suggestion that you want the person to act on, the suggestion must have power behind it, and the power comes from concentration. If you are concentrating intently upon what you're saying, and if you believe what you're saying, then the suggestion will have more power. And so here, before the composite is formed, there's nine points here that if you focus on this, you can get the person to put aside the thinker, listen to you, and fall in love with your idea. And this is when you have a team that you're working with that are as in love with the idea as you are. And there is huge power when you do that. So number one, ask questions and listen intently. Really listen to what they're saying. You know, ask them questions, hear the answer. You can see where their mind is at that point. And they can see that, they, that you care, that you're paying attention to them. Number two, have a confident bearing. See, what you want to do is you want to be really confident and in love with your idea, but you also want to be really focused on where they're coming from. It's not about seeing it from your perspective, it's about seeing it from their perspective. When you can see it from their perspective and have this confident bearing in your idea, that's when you're going to be in a position to influence. Now, what about this? Be direct. Like, don't beat around the bush, just be direct. I love how Bob Proctor communicates. He is so direct. And so you don't have to sit there and try to figure out what someone's thinking about. And be sincere, you know, be really sincere. Remember we talked about this, we talked about attitude, we talked about being integrity when your thoughts, feelings, and actions are all lined up. When your thoughts, feelings, and actions are all lined up, you are putting one message across. And when you put sincerity behind that, People want to listen. Be friendly. You know, you want to be friendly because people want to follow somebody that they like. It's such a great bit of advice. Uh, be a good finder. What's a good finder? Well, it's so easy to find something wrong, you know, to point out what's wrong. Anybody can do that. But find out what's right. Be a good finder and, and point that out to, to your team. Make them feel good and harness criticism. Just We don't need to just sit there and criticize and make everybody on edge and uncomfortable. So we're making them feel good. And what you're doing is you're increasing their self-esteem, making them, remember the great leader, making the exceptional leader, making them feel good about themselves. And when you do that, everybody brings more of themselves to the surface. And you're going to have a great team that you're working with with your idea. And finally, number nine, call them by their name. And what you're going to do when you do these nine steps, and you want to practice this, really practice it, and you do this over and over, you're going to find that the people you're working with, they are going to be open to your ideas. They're going to fall in love with your ideas, and they're going to be so grateful that they are on your team. Well, here we are. You've got five more days for this lesson. It's a powerful lesson. When you finish these five days, it'll be 120 days that you've been studying this new lead, the field with us. And I hope you've given it your all. And you know what I really suggest you do? Finish up these five days and then go back and start over. Start with day one and really get into it even more. And then after you go through those 120 days, do it again. It's going to be a great investment. And the more you go over this and over this and over this, you know, you change as you're going through this. You're going to see something you didn't see before. And remember that it's the changes that you see. It's the feedback that you get from the change behavior that is the real learning. So take these ideas, go apply them, listen for the feedback on the change behavior, and keep learning and add it to it. We have loved going through this program with you. I hope that you have loved it. I hope you've gotten phenomenal results and just keep it going.
there you have it, leadership in the 21st century. So we will be going through this over the next 12 weeks. I look forward to seeing you on the inside, uh, starting right uh, from the first week uh, in the new year. So join me and I look forward to serving you further. Talk soon.